about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. Up. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. These guys throwing early. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Just misses there with the left. Beautiful sequence of strikes there. Nice combination. Single collar tie now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defense. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really fantastic timing. That group. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lands with the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, straight to the body by Anderson. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always... All right, he gets the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. 
Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Close guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Swing and a miss on the counter. A nice punch by Anderson. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Right up the elbow, the body keep land. Joy gets touched by that kick there. All right, he engages in the single collar side. All right, so volume uppercuts here on the clinch. That one looked like it really hurt. Better make some adjustments here. Gotta make some adjustments. You cannot take those shots to the head like that. Very tricky to throw that body. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over to secure these takedowns. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture in the intensity at which or these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Leg kick checked nicely by Anderson. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. Oh, how about the transition with the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice body kick right under the elbow. The Korean Superboy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Effective punch there by Choi. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Trying to establish that jab once again. Body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh! Big knee to the body! Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Choi. Lands flush with that right hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 
Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good. To Whoa! Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big kick land. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Counter jab snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians kind of like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Well, he's got his back now. Twenty seconds to go. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Anderson. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. He just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Which corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. What a body hit. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Relax, relax. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Choi. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Big kick. 
All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down. Again. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Just misses with that one. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got aggression. He's got to go take that finish down now. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. They're going at it now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard, working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Choi's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Final seconds here. Nice straight punch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Watch knees to the body. Dig, dig. Oh, single collar tie here. Choi gets caught with that punch. Don't be... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Back to the feet now. Nice punch there. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. Went for the inside leg kick.
just misses with the straight right. Anderson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Under three minutes now to go on the round. When you're in the clinch, you go to the box. Fantastic takedown land. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Kick to the body by Anderson. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice loop and punch. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when they... Wow, actually got the takedown. Anderson gets the single leg takedown, well played. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Spinning back, this is there. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, that's a nice strike. Some nice back and forth action here. Let's go. How about that chin? Oh, huge right hand! He's a trouble. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. I mean, how many can he take? Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Yeah. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. It is the fifth and final round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Anderson. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by Shore. And they separate. 
right hand on point. Anderson's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Just out of range with that right hand. What a big time kick. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Well, how the win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Anderson. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. And landing some nasty strikes. Straight punch lands. Back and forth we go. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Big head kick. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Anderson? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh! Choi's got the full mount. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. 90 seconds and counting remain in the fight. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Anderson gets back up again. He's got to whip his hips into that kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Great punch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace.
official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl!